Hi friends, it's Erin again, and we're getting tipsy on Thursday at 4 p.m. Um, we had a lot of people that got on last Thursday at 4, so I'm trying that again, seeing how that works. Um, let me make sure that this is actually working. Um, I'm not great with all this yet, so we're still trying it all out. Um, yep, it is working. So, um, so I'll wait for a second, let a couple people jump on. Um, hope everyone's having a great week. It is Thursday. Um, we listed a house this morning. Um, it is a condo listed at 254. And we have eight showings set up for today. So I don't think it'll last long. Um, hi, Wayne. Wayne is on again. Um, I appreciate him gratefully. Um, but uh, yeah, so inventory is low. So anything that's going on the market, if it's priced appropriately and in good condition, it is gone. Um, so, um, I will go ahead and dive in to this week's topic. So this week, um, I don't know if it's Eleanor or Stevie, but hi over on the other side of the pond. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Um, this week's topic is my top three house honey hunts, hacks. So, um, there are three, there are hacks in house hunting. Um, and your realtor can help you with that. And if I'm your realtor, I can really help you with that. Um, and if you don't know about them, you're in luck because today I'm going to teach you all about them. So, uh, if you want to know, stay tuned. If you're here, wave, comment below. Let me know you're here. If you're tuning in later, cause I will, um, I will post this. Hi, Kimberly. I will, if you're not watching live, you're watching the repeat. I do post this on my Instagram on IGTV. It takes me a little bit cause I'm not great at that yet either. I'm still trying to figure that one out. Um, but it will be there eventually. And you can always go back and look at videos from weeks before. This is my fourth episode, um, and hopefully we'll keep doing this every week. So I'm sharing three um, house hunting hacks this week. Um, and whether it's your first house or your third house, you can apply these hacks, um, and they're really helpful. So um, getting tipsy, again, it's still the work day, so I'm not drinking yet. But I have my big gulp, um, and again, I do have my water because I'm doing a double at Cycle Bar tonight, so I gotta be drinking my water. Um, so get your drink and join me. So um, the first hack that I would say is have a home buying consultation. Sit down with a realtor. Um, even if you've bought three houses or you've done it before and you've been here before, it's you need to do it. Um, you need to sit down and figure it out and figure out your game plan. Um, and have everything set out. Um, decide what your goals are. What are you looking for? Do you know what area you wanna be in? What school district you wanna be in? What size you wanna be? Um, what school district you wanna be at? Um, do you have that plan for your move? Are you gonna to have to sell your home before you move? How are you gonna do that? Um, or are you gonna move and then sell your house? Or do you have um, I have a client right now, she has a lease that's up. And so when are we planning that? When are we going to start looking in order to be into our new place before her lease is up? Um, so figuring out those type of things. Learning about the current market. Um, your realtor can put you on a search ahead of time. Maybe you're not looking right now. Maybe it's down the road. Um, and that's okay. But you want to know what's on the market. So you need to consult with that realtor and have that buying consultation. Um, the market is constantly changing and evolving. It's what we do every day. We're in the market. Um, just like if you're a soccer coach and the rules are changing, you know the rules. Um, if you work in trucking, the laws are changing. Um, it's what I do, so let me help you and let me keep you up to date with what's going on. Um, and if you're buying the house for the first time, this is an absolute must. Like, don't even think about it. Don't just jump on Zillow and call the first, you know, see that agent and say, oh, I'm going to call this agent and think someone's going to help you through the process. Like, be prepared. Um, you want it to be a good, enjoyable process. Um, you don't want it to be hectic and stressful. You want to enjoy the process. So, hack number one, do the buyer consultation. Kind of leads into hack number two, prepare for the process I would say three to six months before you're actually ready. Again, I have a buyer, her lease is up at the end of March. We've actually been looking since she signed her lease last March. 
we've been prepared since then. I put her on a search so she knew what was going on with the market as we were approaching this. And we looked at that calendar and said, okay, you're gonna start looking, really paying attention to the search and we're gonna, we're gonna make the search be a, like the everyday search um, starting in like November, December and start looking at houses January 1. Um, and that was how we ran into that process. So she wasn't stressing about it, but she just knew what was coming on the market, what was going off the market, how the market was flowing, and she was prepared for it. Um, this is being in being prepared that three to six months. It's a great time to start looking for an agent. Um, again, um, you know, find an agent that you work with well with, um, someone you trust. Uh, you don't want to just call that person off the street and have them write a contract for you and then be stuck in the process with them and not know how they do things, what they do. If you jive with them, you, when you're buying a house, um, you will talk to that person almost every day. I, again, have another client. We're closing uh, in two weeks. I don't know what the calendar is right now. Yeah, in two weeks. Um, we're closing February 10th. And um, she went one day without talk last Sunday. We didn't have to talk about anything. And she wrote me that night and said, I feel like I'm missing something because we haven't talked today. Um, it's someone you want to have a good relationship with. You want to have a good re working relationship with. So find someone you trust and someone you jive with. And if it's not the right fit, then it's not the right fit. And you can move on. But do that before you get into your house, um, into the house that you are buying. Um, you know, check out their social media. Check out their, um, you know, check out their references. Check out their reviews. Talk to your friends and family, see if they've used someone. Um, and just that will help you. Um, and that will really make the process smoother if it's someone that you can trust. Once you find that person, also find out what resources they have for you. Um, and you can also look online and get a bunch of free resources. The reason I say once you find the person and ask what resources they have, you want it to be trustworthy resources and not just random stuff on the internet. Not everything you see on the internet is true. Sorry. Um, so um, look for some of those resources and some of that information that you can gather that will help you. Um, I have coming up in uh, February, I have something really exciting, so stay tuned. Um, and I'm going to be launching a free resource that I think a lot of people are going to love. So I'm working on that right now. Um, so stay tuned to that for buyers, um, but it's free again, no obligations, just grab it, use it for how you want. Um, but it's a buyer boot camp, and I think everyone will be really enjoy that. Um, but videos, free guides to walk you through the process, um, and ask any questions and just be prepared. Um, and again, feel free to watch my old videos, go to IGTV or my Facebook lives. Um, and if that helps you great. Um, and see other things that you can find. So hack two, preparing for the process ahead of time. And then hack three is to go ahead and pick a preferred and figure out how to compare apples to apples. Um, that's, you want to compare apples to apples and your realtor can help you with that. A lot of loan companies, mortgage companies call things different. Um, the light, you'll look at things and line up items differently. Um, and if a lender tells you they can't give you a cash to close sheet or a closing worksheet or something that gives you an idea of what you're going to have to bring to a table, there's a problem. Just in, that's, that's a, just a bonus tip for you. Um, they should be able to disclose that kind of stuff to you. It might not be exact because you don't have a property yet, but they should be able to give you a heads up. So um, that will help you determine your estimated closing cost. I didn't even know that that was in my notes, but yeah, that was determining your estimated closing costs. Um, so you want to know that in addition to your down payment, what are your estimated closing costs? Again, we'll, we'll ask for those um, when we're negotiating a contract, but um, you want to know what that amount is going to be. In today's market, we're having to cut what we receive for buyers back um, because we're having multiple offers, but um, you do want to know what that is. So again, the top, you know, my three hacks... Do a home buyer consultation. With that, be start preparing about three to six months ahead of when you're really ready to buy. And then choose your preferred lender. So know your realtor, know your lender, home buyer consultation, 
be prepared. And, and I laugh. Um, I did a Sesame Street episode when I was working for the New York Jets. Um, it was Ben Graham, who's an Australian. Um, he was a punter. Uh, Lavernius Coles and Chad Pennington. And they had Chad Pennington do the word of the day. And the word of the day was prepare. And if you know Chad, he has a little bit of an accent. And so he said prepare. Um, and anytime I hear the word prepare, I can just see Chad. And he had a helmet on and a, an Elmo throw a football at him. But he said prepare. Um, so that's how I hear the word prepare. But be prepared. Um, be prepared because in today's market with the low inventory, it is going quickly and you're going to have to make some quick decisions. Um, and you don't want to lose the property that you wanted because you weren't prepared, um, because you didn't have your loan set up or you didn't have your credit set up, um, or you didn't know the process or you didn't understand what was going on, or you weren't ready to pull the trigger because you didn't understand um, or you weren't comfortable, you wanna be comfortable. So um, those are my three house hunting ha hacks for you today. Uh, again, thank you for tuning in to this week's Getting Tipsy with Erin. Uh, we're, we're doing this every Thursday. This is episode four. Tune in next week, episode five. What is move-in ready um, really mean when you're selling your home? So tune in next week. I'll probably do four o'clock again. Um, maybe next week I'll go to a brewery and we'll get tipsy there. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I hope everyone's enjoying it. If you have any topics you want me to cover, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them below, comment below, message me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. Let me know. I'm happy to, to let you know. I'm happy to answer anything. Um, here, that's what I do every day. So have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.